Let's take a closer look at another special Phaeton topic, the rear license plate. License plates are usually lit up by two simple light bulbs, especially in 1997 when the Phaeton development started. The special Phaeton development department wanted to do everything better than anybody else and push the limits, in every category, like you can see in this video series. And one topic they also wanted to improve was the illumination of the rear license plate. A plate being lit up simply by light bulbs has been done since the beginning of cars and this area was not developed further. The Phaeton should have something better. So the Phaeton development department researched how to improve this and got together with the Smith company Lumitech and the German company FER, previously Ruder and by the way the company which produced for example rear lights for the Trabant. They developed a system where they sticked an electroluminescence foil behind a transparent plastic plate. So you could connect 12 volt and the foil behind the transparent plate would shine white. Letters and numbers were integrated in the plate. The result was a system which was super compact and the white surface of the license plate would shine by itself, so you didn't need the old light bulbs anymore. VW and the suppliers could reach a special permission of the German traffic office for this system from 2002, so right when the Phaeton entered production. And the system wasn't cheap. You could order it for your Phaeton and that was the only car in the world at the time which had this option. The license plate cost more than 400 euro and the special holder another 50. Special was the integration of numbers and letters within the layers of the plates. Because this feature was optional and the special permission of the German traffic office was running out in 2005, the Phaeton was designed with normal light bulbs as well. But unlike normal cars, the Phaeton got four license plate lights, which I show you in my other parts on my Phaeton. In 2007, supplier G. Illumic picked up the topic but simplified it. They now use the standard German aluminium plate and cover it with an electroluminescence foil. So the white surface shines as well, but you don't have the multiple layers like the Phaeton and you can see a structure on it. They got a general permission for these license plates in 2007 and to the present day you can buy such self-illuminating rear license plates for around 125 euro, if you're okay with standard size, since they don't do shorter plates. So again, the Phaeton design team tried to reinvent another area of car engineering and pushed another technology further. See you at the next video.